Welcome to the IoT News Weekly, brought to you by IoT Secure. This being a holiday week made for a relatively slow news week, but here's the latest anyways. In this week's news, small office and home office wireless routers are under attack. Wireless IoT startup Onamundo gets more money, and IoT insurance is now a thing. And finally today, soccer is trying to help the referees make better calls with IoT. Thank you for tuning in today to the July 8th episode of our IoT News Weekly Series. I'm your host, John Nye, and let's get into the news. Our first story of the week is tangentially related to IoT, partly because it's a gray area as to whether networking devices like your wireless router would be considered IoT devices. Regardless of your belief on this front, no one can deny that the wireless router is the gateway into most small and home office networks that is most often exploited by bad actors the world over. Last week, Black Lotus Labs, a subsidiary of Lumen, released a paper about the Zoorat malware that has been observed hijacking Soho networks at increasing frequency. Zuo means left in Chinese, so presumably the malware has been dubbed left rat if translated. The malware and associated command and control infrastructure for this campaign that Black Lotus laid out are quite complicated and intricate. The malware appears to be a collection of many known and zero-day exploits and have packages designed to exploit most devices that would be connected to the affected networks. Initial entry is accomplished almost exclusively through a bevy of popular Soho wireless routers. The malware will then sit on the router monitoring other devices on the network for vulnerable devices to infect with more advanced malware that will then steal data and perform other malicious acts. Of interest to you who are likely working from home or have employees who do, is that while difficult to identify if a router is infected at the moment, simply regularly restarting your router is enough to keep the malware off your network. So set a reminder and start resetting your router at least once a week. A startup called Onamundo, which offers a dedicated wireless network for IoT devices, announced a new successful funding round in a funding round led by Verdane that also had participation from Maersk Growth, People Ventures, and the Danish Growth Fund, Onamondo raised another 21 million US dollars. CEO Michael Carlson said that the money would be used toward productization, go to market, and above all, growing the company's team from 50 to 100 employees by the end of the year. Unlike other cellular network solutions, Onamundo's solution has been built from the ground up since its founding in 2012 to give their customers access to unique features, security, and control that other sim similar services simply can't match. In a capitalist society, disasters are a major money maker. So it was only a matter of time till someone offered insurance for IoT specifically. According to a new report from Market Research Futures, the IoT insurance industry will see growth to a cap of over $317 billion with an annual growth rate of over 55% through 2030. IoT connected insurance is the latest growth area for the massive insurance industry. While some of this growth is in the actual protection of connected smart devices, the primary growth will actually be in the growing usage of IoT-based sensors added to customers' networks to monitor the insured devices and data. Finally today, for you soccer or football fans out there, we have an interesting update. When the FIFA World Cup takes place in Qatar later this year, there will be a new semi-autonomous smart technology being used to improve fairness of the game. Using a combination of a sensor embedded within the actual game balls and a dozen specialized cameras around the football pitch, the referees will be able to use more accurate and objective data to determine when rules have been broken. In particular, this system will help officials determine when and if 
offsides penalties should be used. Anyone who watches soccer regularly will know that offsides calls are some of the most contentious calls in the sport. So FIFA and their referees hope that this new technology will help them be certain to make the most accurate and fair decisions. It should be noted that while the sensors and data analysis will assist the officials in making these calls, the final calls will be made exclusively by human officials. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on future episodes of the IoT News Weekly. The description below contains links to the sources for all the stories we covered today. If you would like to learn more about IoT Secure and how we can help you inventory and secure your entire network, go to iotsecure.io today.